Hello guys, my name is VVV PPP and I'll bring you today our northern guide for the object 279E, in this case, the Alliance Group. The Alliance are the USA, the UK and the Polish, but since the Polish only have one line of tank, I'm not gonna be using them. So, let's go to the first mission, in this case, a sure shooter. Earn the Fight for Effect Award. Remember, the Fight for Effect Award is to do your HP in damage toward the enemy vehicle. So if you have 2k, 2000 uh, HP, you need to do 2000 HP to enemy vehicles. In this case, I actually cannot remember what tank I used, but it can be any tier 8. By example, if you have a TS5, you need to do 1.5k damage. It's pretty easy with this tank. Uh, if you have the Payton, you need to do 1,700 damage to the enemy, enemy vehicle per battle. In this case, it needs to be done in 5 out of 10. It's pretty easy, actually. In some case, in some day, I'm going to be doing it in, in with honors, but not right now. Well, the second mission is Among the Best. Be among the top 3 players on your team by damage causing Just your team. That's the good news. Uh, in this case, you, I actually use the E3, because, you know, the E3 hits pretty hard. Uh, it doesn't have too good mobility when you bring back the crew. There it goes. It shoots pretty fast. Uh, it has a sturdy, sturdy frontal armor, so you can be in front of, the, uh, of, the, uh, of your allies and uh, with standing shots and get some time to aim properly and secure the shots. So it's pretty damn easy with this time. Try to secure at least 3000 damage per battle so you it, you can be sure that you will be on the top 3 players of the battle uh, of your team uh, in, cause, in damage count. Remember, it needs to be 5 times in a row. So you cannot uh, fail one mission in one battle because you will start again. So try to secure those 3,000 damage, or 3,000.5, 3,500 damage, actually. Try to do that. The third mission is Always on Duty. I actually skip it, yes, I skip it this mission. But I was doing it because, look, enable your allies to destroy an average of two enemy vehicles per battle by spotting them or destroying their strike. Restriction. Enable your allies destroy at least one enemy vehicle by spotting them and destroying their tracks. If you don't do this, it won't start counting the, the destroying tank, the destroying enemy. And you need to do at least two per battles. I skip it because I was actually having problems and I actually managed to do the other battles, the, the other missions on the other groups. And I had four orders left, so I just skip it this way. But if you want good results, I was actually using this tank. Let me search it for you. No, this wasn't the, from the USA. It was the Centurion 7 slash 1. Because you have good frontal armor, in fact. You have good spotting range if you, if you use uh, a proper equipment. And actually you can detract enemies with, your, with their fast firing gun. So remember. Any tank destroy it with your new range by another allied tank that doesn't have a direct view counts towards the mission. If you detract enemy vehicles and the enemy took them out, so it counts towards the mission. It's pretty easy, but since I was lazy in that moment and I want the object to seven nine quick, so I just skip it because I had the other. But I was doing it with this tank, so I would recommend that. Next mission is forward. Yes. Just a warming up, just warming up, sorry. Cause 3,000... No, no, I uh, know. Let me say. 13,000 damage to the enemy vehicles in 10 battles. I cannot recommend you a better tank in this case than... The Super Conqueror, actually. You expect another TD? No. Super Conqueror. You have fast firing gun. You have uh, decent mobility. You have good armor, actually. Good depression gun. A good penetrating gun with obviously a PCI, I didn't use any other kind of round with this tank. Because it's pretty easy with this tank to do at least 3k damage per battle, actually you will need it. So actually I'm gonna be doing it with, with honors in the future, but 
this is the best tango for this niche. Actually, I cannot recommend you another vehicle for this one. Because it's pretty easy with this tank. Pretty, pretty easy. If you don't have it, well, if you don't have it and you have any other, uh, I mean, a TD, well, go ahead and use the TD, but my first recommendation is, will be always the Super Conqueror. Scout 2D? That was a 4. Fifth mission is stunning performance. <laughs> Here we go with the RD. It won't be the last one. Stun a total of 14 different different enemy vehicles in 10 battles. In this case, guys, from my personal point of view, I always use it almost exclusively only in just one I didn't use it, but almost exclusively I use the FB 3805 with the second gun full HE rounds, I mean gold rounds, because this thing, uh, right now I don't have the proper screw because I researched the gun carriage, but with this, with a proper crew, this, this thing can shoot every 21 seconds, actually I was dropping a lead every almost 20 seconds uh, around, so to shoot to four enemy vehicles in a single battle was Really then is we just splash damage only if just one one damage it to it counts towards the mission. It's pretty easy. The most faster remember this. The most fa the most faster you shoot with an artillery, more easy are all of these missions that requires artillery. So the better artillery for this mission are this. The FB three oh five. In my personal opinion, there is another artillery that is the tier nine American with the First gun, actually, it is the M. Here, the M5355 with the 155 millimeter guns. You have, you almost had the same rate of fire that the FB3805. If you don't have the, uh, the the British artillery, you can use the American artillery. But obviously, the the faster, the better. And obviously, if you hit an uh, enemy here, you switch to another vehicle, another enemy vehicle in another side of the map, and it will be pretty damn easy that mission with that kind of strategy and artillery. That was a fifth, yes. Fourth mission is yeah, ten bucks. Okay, we're good. Sixth mission is rely ally, reliable ally. Earn the Confederate award. Remember, guys, in two out of seven battles. This is pretty easy, but remember that this this medal here it is. Here it is Confederate cause damage or critical hits to more enemy vehicles at least six, than any other vehicle than enemy any other vehicle uh, any other player in the battle in the battle. Charges that were destroyed by other players or lost in battle are included. Ricochets and non penetrating hits are not included, but remember that you can destroy critical hits too. It can be done only in battle round, in run, random battles. Sorry. So then again, I use another artillery for the same reason. I just hit different vehicles around the map and try to at least uh, do damage to obviously six uh, uh, different vehicles, the, the quicker the quicker and faster way possible. And it was pretty easy with this artillery actually. Really pretty pretty easily with this artillery. Just give it a try with this one. If not, then again use another artillery like the M5355. Let's check. It was fifth. That was a six. Okay, let's go to the seventh. In armor we trust. Average damage block it should be at least 2000. And restriction, you need to block at least 750 damage in a battle. In 10 battles you need to get this average. In this case I use the E3 guys. Because obviously this tank, this tank is a beast. Frontally it cannot be penetrated or hit unless you got a good hit round from the Jack Panzer E100. That's the only way. And if you manage again to stay at least at 100 meters of the enemy vehicles, they will try to shoot on your cupola, they will try to shoot on your overplane, and they will bounce because at that distance, RNG will start to 
uh, disturb your shots or misleading the shots so it's pretty easy to bounce uh, shots with this tank. Go ahead, if you have it, use it. If you don't have it, you can try with the Badger. Remember that the Badger has 300 uh, armor in frontal part, but remember that this part is pretty soft, so it can be penetrated. But if you hide it, go ahead, hide it, and use only the frontal armor, the upper frontal armor. That was the 7, yes, let's go to the 8. The 8th mission is Simple Geometry, haha! <laughs> Damage or destroy any internal modules or crew members totaling at least 13 modules of crew members in 10 battles. In this case guys, the password is obviously the FV4005. Which better tank? I cannot say another better tank than this one. <laughs> because if you <laughs> manage to penetrate one of these hash rounds, that's at least two enemy enemy crew. I mean, that's at least two critical internal models destroyed. In the battle, so get a good position. Don't be too far away from the battle, but not too close. Like in this fight, in this case, try to be at least two hundred meters of enemy vehicles in a, in a distance that will allow you to aim properly. Remember that this tank has been nerfed. Now you aim every. 2.87 min seconds to aim. God damn, that's a lot. So you need to proper aim with this gun to secure the penetration. So you need time to properly aim, guys. But I don't recommend you to to um, to a snapshot with this tank, obviously. And if you see if enemy enemy vehicles is just exposing the side wave of the tank. Or the frontal just spam them there. It doesn't matter. The, the most faster you shoot this gun, the better actually too. So if you are actually watching a vehicle that it does just showing the frontal part in it's the most heavily armored, it doesn't matter. This hash shell will surely do a lot of internal damage, even if it just splash. So I cannot I not I cannot recommend a better tank than this one. If you have the FB 215B that has been uh, yeah, the the FV 183. I mean, this tank has been sold, sold recently in the black market, and you can use this tank too. But I like more the mobility of this tank and the depression. So it's just question of personal taste. But I recommend this one. Let's go to the ninth mission, and it is seeing stars. Stone any of the vehicles by 1,800 1, seconds total. Potential stone duration is counted. This has to be done in 10 battles. Okay. You might see at first glance this mission is impossible since the end end. Since the team sometimes don't last at least 5 minutes. But let me tell you, you need to try it. I, I, this, this mission was one of one of... I thought that it will need to be jumped with orders, but actually I tried it and I did it in the first 10 battles. It was not easy, but was not too hard actually. But my secret, then again, was to use this tank, the FP-3805, with proper crew obviously, and obviously with uh, with a T, and or just shooting HE premium rounds. Because in this case, the trick is not to splash the the most enemy vehicles possible at the same time. No, the more lead you put in the air, the more easy the mission is done. Remember, if you are counting with the minimal stunning damage, you can see here that is 12.5 seconds. If you're using a high splashing gun, well, this not anymore. Remember, it has been never. Let's use the T92 example. Remember that this tank has a minimal stun damage of 14 seconds. It's not much difference actually. So the better, the more bleed you put in the air, the more easy it's done this mission. A second one, and that's why I actually recommend even more this tank, is because of the killing potential that have big guns. Example again, the T92. If you are using gold rounds, in this case, it had how many? 
cannot see it. Burst radius 14.5 meters of the burst radius with 975 9, damage minimum. So, if you're shooting an enemy vehicle that has 100 damage and the shell lands around here, that enemy vehicle is instantly remembered. It should explode and with an enemy vehicle destroyed, there's no stun, uh, stun time to be counted towards the mission. And that's why I use this one, because with the second gun, obviously, when a shot lands near the enemy vehicles, his gun is so small that it will be only causing like 15 or, five, or 15 or 16 damage to the vehicle, but it will be stunned and it will not be killed. So the most stun you do, and the more time the enemy vehicles are alive, the more easy this mission gets. So please go ahead and give it a try with this tank. If you don't have it, buy it. It's the more easiest way, in my opinion, to do it. If not, you have the M5355. Use the M3, uh, that tank with the first gun, with a, which is, like I say, a slow, uh, a soft hitting gun that cannot overkill an enemy vehicle and cause stunning the tank. The tenth mission is. See? Unlocking potential. Cows two times more damage than the hit points of your vehicle. <laughs> this is a tricky one because it's the most easy actually. You might say, well, with a Centurion Action X I need to be causing 4,000 damage. Or with a TD I need to be causing 4,000 damage. But then again, stop it right there. Use this tank again. Because remember, it can be done with any vehicle of this group. So why you use a... Uh, high damage gun with a high full HP tank when you can use artillery and do the same trick. In this case I use it actually the T92 with go rounds because <laughs> you need to do how much? Oh my god just only 1k damage. <laughs> with two shoots GG. Use go rounds in the T92 and secure a good hitting shot with this tank and that's done. It needs to be done in how much battles? Let me check. In four out of seven, if you do it, if you want to do it with honors in five out of seven, pretty easy piece of cake with the T92, guys. If you don't have the T92, you can use any other artillery around there. That's is the ten, the eleven mission. See, the right place at the right time. Enable your allies to cause a total of. 1,200 damage to enemy vehicles is stunned by you. In this case, again, I use it the... Here it is, the if a the FB-3805 again. The most round you put in the air, the more time the stunned enemy vehicle will be. And the allies will do more damage to the enemy vehicles. So remember, easy the way to do this mission is with a fast firing gun, artillery in this case, nothing better than this thing. So go ahead and give it a try with this one. If not, the M5355 again, a better, uh, uh, excellent artillery too. Let's keep doing this. The 12th mission is rock solid. Be the top player in the battle, that means your team and the enemy team, by damage block. Block and restriction, block at least 1000 damage in the battle. In 3 out of 7 battles. In this case, I use the tortoise because I didn't think too much, but the E3 is the best way to do it. Remember that the E3s have an absurd amount of frontal armor. Yeah, I cannot better recommend you another bird type of this one. If not, the tor if you have the tortoise, then go ahead and use the tortoise, and then again, try to be at least at 100 meters of the enemy of enemy vehicles, and try to lure them to shoot you out in your weak spots. But remember that <laughs> this is not a weak spot by any means. The people will try to shoot you there, but it is impossible. So what better than this one? Or the tortoise, actually. The tortoise was... I used their tortoise, but I sold them back backwards. But then I thought... Man, I could be have used the E3, the, the same thing actually. So, I'll use this one or the third test. 
I don't recommend you heavy chunks because they are pretty weak actually. Excuse me with that one, let's check, that was the... 12th, the third mission, the 13th mission is... Big Shark! Be among the top 3 players in the battle by experience earned 5 times in a row. I skip it, like you can see, because this requires to being three top players in a battle, that means your team and the enemy team. And obviously you cannot be in the top three players if you are not winning, actually. So that's why I skip it, because uh, uh, I don't know, I have the orders left, so I can I could skip it. But if you are trying to do it, I will recommend you to platoon with two, uh, with two uh, friends that can play actually pretty good. And try to carry battles out. Use tier 9 to speak of remember that if you have tier 9 do more damage than a tier 10, the tier 9 will obviously get more experience for battle. So if you're on a platoon with only tier 9s, it's cool, but it got it got to be it, this mission is kinda hard because remember that if your top top ten top tier players uh, play really bad, sometimes it doesn't matter how good you play or your friends play. The other enemy vehicles will, the only enemy team will just destroy your team. So it's pretty tricky. It's pretty tricky this mission actually. So that's why it's, I just skip it. But if you tr wanna try it, use I will recommend you personally to use a platoon, platoon with two uh, excellent players too, tier nine, so you can do a lot of experience damage. But well, I will just skip it. The 14 is welcome to my collection. Cause damage to 13 different enemy vehicles. Remember what I told you about artists? Hehe, <laughs> they are back again. In this game, again, a fast firing gun artillery, the FP3005, again, with special rounds, obviously. And the trick is simple: just hit enemy, an enemy vehicle here, another enemy vehicle over there, the enemy vehicle over there, and it's pretty damn easy, actually. Because, like I told you, you can be anywhere on the map hitting any kind of enemy vehicles and this has to be different. You don't have the danger of being destroyed if you are using a regular tank. Like a uh, Valier, you don't have the danger to be destroyed immediately in the first of the battle. Well, but you're not since you are pretty slow. But a Super Conqueror can be destroyed, a medium tank can be destroyed in the beginning of the battle. And with this tank you can be laid down easily on the back of the ground at the battle. Of the map, sorry. Hitting uh, different enemy vehicles around the map, and uh, no more easy. It cannot be more easy than with this tank, that guys. If you don't have the FB 3805, and well, the M5355. It's pretty easy. And last but not least, let's check the last mission, which, like I told you, is the more easy of everything for the aliens. Receiving the mastery budget class one or higher in three out of fifteen battles. It will go actually, you are doing the Object 279 emissions, you only have to have the Chimera. <laughs> I cannot be, I, not, I cannot recommend you a better vehicle. In this case, I will recommend you to use it, because since not too much people have this tank, only with just 2k damage per battle, uh, the first class is pretty easy to acquire, guys. It's, I actually did it in just, I think, 5 battles actually did it. It's pretty damn easy if you use the Chimera. It's not better time than this one actually. But then again, if you feel comfortable using another tank and you don't feel invincible uh, using other kind of tank or other tank, well, yeah, other tank actually. If you feel another, uh, if you feel cool good in another tank, go ahead and use it. Just remember, three first class in 15 missions. It cannot be more easy than that, guys. So there it is, another 15 missions. And if you have another doubt or any question, go ahead and ask me in the comment section. We'll try to answer them. And good luck. And I'll see you in another battle, guys. In another video, maybe.